to this week's episode of The Cause Couch. So in today's episode, we're basically gonna talk about what's top of the tongue on our Twitter trends, as well as the main conversation being around the entertainment industry, colorism, skin bleaching, and so forth. We're talking about this because Kanye Bauer recently posted a picture of herself in front of a yellow Porsche, and she thought she looked yellow, but she looked pink. But I see what she did there, was trying to do yellow Porsches, yellow bones, I don't know, something along those lines. But basically, that's the topic of discussion today. So for those of you that want to hear top of the tongue Twitter trends, stay tuned because that is going to come up. But if you want to continue with this conversation on colorism, the entertainment industry, and Kanye Bauer's comment, please remember to continue the conversation on Twitter. That's that by continuing to use the hashtag conversations for a cause and hashtag connect to educate. And also remember to tag at cause couch. I'm your host, Bunala Malloy. You're also more than welcome to welcome to follow me on all socials. That's at Nola Malloy. So basically, Kanye Bauer went and posted a picture of herself next to a yellow Porsche, and then she was interviewed by Utemi Gilem Khototo. He is on ENCA, you can catch him there. And they had a bit of a sit down, and they were chatting about this color issue. And Kanye Bauer said a few things. Um, here is some of what she said. Well, and how much is cosmetic? 90% um, of the color of my skin is um, cosmetic now. Um, and this was a personal choice, but not because it's something that's needed for the industry. It's something that I preferred, and I realized that once my skin is fairer, I then have to use lesser makeup. Unlike sitting in the chair before I shoot a movie for long, I could just put on powder and I can go. So for me, that was a maintenance issue that I wanted to do. And what do you say to people who then reduce it to having an issue with being a darker African person? You know, the problem is I think Africans have become such bullies in terms of what our freedom means and what Af being African is, that now they use it against anyone, and especially darker skin tone people, that then want to come around and say, this is how you should be when you're African. But why did we fight for freedom if we can't express our freedom in the way that we feel? And it doesn't mean when you're black you should be in beads and you should look ethnic in a certain way. You can become anything that you want. And then we all want to claim we're global citizens, but we hate it when people want to now reach out and look like a global citizen. Does it bother you at all when you read some of what people have to say about your parents? No, it's actually interesting of how South Africans fear what they don't know. When people don't understand, they just hear the word bleach and then they go, oh my goodness, skin cancer, you're going to die and whatever. But technology is always upgrading itself. And if cell phones can be smartphones today, clearly skin lightening is at another level that you don't get sick. It's something that you can actually maintain. And people then see filters and they think, no, you're too light now. You're just, you're just going out of hand. But South Africans are bullies, to be and quite honest. What are the dangers, Kanye, of the sort of transformation that you have undergone? I don't imagine that it's 100% safe, as with mm. anything else. Nothing is ever safe in this life. I mean, just walking out your house is a risk. You could die. But with this, the risks are, number one, it's a lot of money. Number two is you need to know what your skin type is. You can't use what I use because your pH and mine aren't the same. Obviously, you can't be in the sun, but even naturally, you're expected not to be in the sun because the sun is harsh. So it's literally looking after yourself and using the right products for your skin. You spoke about it being expensive. Very Let's ask expensive. a rude question. How much does it cost you to transform? Look, I mean, just for just the IVs on its own, it's eight procedures. And an IV can start from like 1.2 per procedure. So you 1. can times million. it. 1.2 No, 1.2 as in 1,200. Oh. You know so if, no, <laughs> so if you're going to do it for five years, you ah. can imagine how much that is. But you need more. It's not just the IV. It's the products that you use. It's the vitamins that you need to take. So all in all, you spend about 10,000 rand a month. So when Kanye Bell entered the conversation, she basically spoke about how she feels like um, the industry, well, she, she actually said, rather, she was very specific about saying that this is not what the industry needs, but rather this is what she feels. And I think that's something we really need to like think about and like pause for a second because in no place did she say that this is what the industry needs. So let's not say, Let's not misunderstand that. 
So then she also goes on to talk about the maintenance part of it and so forth. And I am just like, okay, firstly, it's literally been scientifically proven that people who have darker skin or more melanin are less prone to uneven skin tone, blemishes, scarring, and so forth, which naturally and obviously would mean that they would need less makeup. I mean, duh. And so the maintenance issue, saying that it takes less time to do your face because you're lighter is a lie. And I just feel like, you know what? If she doesn't believe me, she needs to get herself some white friends and then she'll realize that, you know what? We're all in the same boat here. So that's that, first of all. And then she says it costs her 10,000 rand a month. <laughs> and she says that this is part of the maintenance, right? So like, you know, how we have our budget with our hair and our nails and our clothing and our toiletries and so forth. This is just her face. <laughs> Guys, it's literally just her face. So she's saying that that is absolutely not an issue to maintain. To do her face is not a big deal. That's normal maintenance part of her taking a shower budget. Take it or leave it. That's what she does for who she wants to be. So that 10,000 Rand though is actually the same price as an online accredited course um, for a year, basically proper tertiary education. That is what it costs to do her face. So just think about that one for a second. So that's that on maintenance. And then Kangi, you ended up going on about the fact that <laughs> yes, sometimes I can believe in them because he listened to this community. Because personally, I feel like Kangi Bao, I absolutely love you. In all the interviews that I've seen you in, you have been the realist, which I know is so ironic because you look like a Barbie, but you've been very real. But then when you went on to say that it's not your responsibility to for girls or for you to raise other people's children, I feel like you need to check yourself. I feel like that statement was so irresponsible. There's so many girls women young and old that actually look up to you and want to aspire to you are you basically telling your daughter that she shouldn't that if she wants to be accepted by the world she should do whatever it takes even if it means risking her health and like her whole entire life really um yeah i think that is not cute it's not cool at all and something that needs to be dealt with properly um I think we actually need an apology for that. Yeah. If you think we need an apology, please like, subscribe, and retweet. <laughs> okay, so that's how I feel about that. thing from that interview, what I did realize is that I think what we need to ask her again, for real, is, can you? why did you bleach your skin? Because to me, from the sounds of it, for someone who's constantly saying that they don't care what their followers say, um, love me or hate me, it wouldn't be me if I didn't upset you. That's great and that's all well, but you really change yourself quite a lot to fit into what they think they want to be. So I think that was so uncool, actually, especially with the crazy crises that we have right now with children stabbing each other at school and kids committing suicide because of what they see on social media. I think that statement needs to totally be retracted. Whew, yeah, I'm so unhappy about that comment. Like, it actually makes me sick. I hope it makes you sick as well. Whew. Okay, so I think we can actually wrap up colorism, the industry, and what the entertainment industry thinks they, what the entertainment industry wants. Um, we can wrap that up. Right now, though, we're going to be talking about top of the tongue Twitter trends. So stay tuned for that because we're going to be talking about the hashtag that was trending on Friday, hashtag fourth IR, RSA. So apparently, I don't know if this tweet is true, maybe I'll, everyone will hopefully know by the time this video is up, but apparently our president is literally going to do like a hologram speech situation. And um, looking at another trend for this week was the hashtag Durban July 2019. So, Tinabangasiana, Mrs. Chilage, 
social media go to what was happening if you spot anything that's ridiculous and you just want to talk about it please remember to hashtag conversations to educate and conversations to for a cause and remember to tag at cause couch on um, twitter and we can get uh the durban july conversation going and we can share our comments after and we'll make a video about that so that was another trend that was there so going into the fourth industrial revolution south africa hashtag um, the honest truth is it's still going on right now while I'm making this video and um, there's a lot that's happening so I'm actually going to wait for comments and stuff before I formulate an entire opinion on, uh, on this um, digital economy summit which I think is great that actually is happening today so I, I will maybe possibly either write, have a video or just have a talker about um, this digital economic summit that happens sooner rather than later so basically with that said though i definitely feel like this is definitely brilliant timing for south africa a lot of sacrifices are going to have to be made and um we're going to need to start thinking long term even whatever we're going to implement now needs to be something that we know in the long run will actually still be able to sustain us. And I think that's how we need to be thinking right now. And I know I keep on saying if it means people need to be retrenched, people need to be retrenched. And that would even just come to things like, why are we still printing textbooks when we just could have tablets? Why is data even a cost when it's not a natural resource? I'm just like, how is access to information such a big thing when it's not a natural resource therefore it means it shall not deplete because we have created it it's free it's like we're being charged to breathe i <laughs> literally so we're basically being charged to breathe so that's how i feel that's i paid you wi-fi i paid so why anyway you know i actually saw a tweet that touched me um, hopefully I can find it again. This guy that I stalk is always retweeting some cool tweets. So, um, anyway, so this tweet basically said, Guti, uh, they say someone retweeted and put a comment there, I said, I asked me Wi-Fi. <laughs> and that is such a real and true thing. Like, I have to say, um, people who don't have Wi-Fi at home are literally always gallivanting the streets. Like, they're not productive. So I am just like, if you want to also work with um, people who just bunk school and stuff, at least they won't bunk it in the streets. At least they'll bunk it at home with Wi-Fi and they can just do stuff. Like, guys, I feel like we need to keep the nation busy. I want the to busy. I want the to so I think that's the issue with our economy. And so those are basically the two top of the tongue Twitter trends that were on my TL. Let me know what was on yours. And remember to continue the conversation by hashtagging connect to educate and hashtag conversations for a cause and also tag at cause couch. And remember to follow myself, your host, Bunola Malloy. That's on at Nola Malloy. Thank you so much for tuning in. You'll catch me again next week. And remember to like, share and subscribe as much as possible because all profits made from this channel will be going to an absolutely amazing cause okay cool peace peace